Hello, I'm Rod Ehrlich, Chief Technology Officer for Wabash National Corporation, and I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce our new TrustLock Plus door lock system and show you some of the features on the improvements that it has over the conventional hardware. First thing I'd like to point out is the height of the regular door hardware. Uh, a lot of truck drivers these days uh, are shorter, uh, especially for the female, and we've heard a lot about uh, some of the female drivers that are short trying to operate this thing. This is above their head. Even for myself, it's right at my eye level. The uh, hardware system, too, the security is a real issue in the hardware. I'd like to point out uh, this is something that we've got a lot of feedback, and it has been with the lock in place on the hasp that one of the ways that they've been breaking into trailers is by simply getting on the side of the hasp here with a vice grip, work this back and forth a few times, and it'll break the hasp right in the center here where the lock can over or cover over it. Once this breaks, then this is free to rotate the hasp on around and get into the trailer. They swing it back around, the hasp is still in place, and this is covering up the broken place when they bend this back down. So uh, that is an important uh, design issue as far as security. Other uh, important operation is uh, this rubber snubber. Uh, actually, it's important uh, that it be there. It's a maintenance item that uh, they deteriorate over the years. But its function is to keep the door tensioned when it's around and locked into the side position so that the chain stays tight. If that snubber is not there and the door is loose, then this can flop around and it com can uh, become dislodged. With that, uh, I'd like for Jerry to go ahead and operate the door hardware, and we'll see what happens now when we go around and attach it to the side of the trailer. Now, one of the things that Jerry, when he left the handle in this position, a lot of times the driver will leave the handle maybe in this position. When we get around to the side of the trailer, we'll see how important that is that this be in one position. So now let me show you closely some of the features that are important in the truss lock and uh, what are problems uh, in the conventional hardware. Uh, notice the first thing again, the pressure that it takes to lock the door uh, or push the door into the side, compressing the rubber back there is substantial force. But that force is what keeps the chain tight so that the chain can't just merely flip off the loop and come unattached. So it's important that there be that force in there to keep it out away from the side or keep that chain tensioned. When you do that, though, if you notice the dimension away from the side of the trailer, it's over 7 inch, almost 7 and a half inches sticking out from the side of the trailer. When another trailer backs in sideways or parallel to this trailer, if it impacts this door, there's not a door alive that will withstand that type of an impact. It'll definitely knock the door off. In between the door, on a lot of traders, if this handle is not positioned in the right position, this part here, when it goes against the side of the trader, can actually damage the side of the trader when we shove it into the side. By lowering the handle on the new truss lock design down below is what you'll see, that issue goes away. We can no longer damage trailers. So with that, Let's go over to the Truss Lock Plus now and look at the features that we have built into it to overcome some of these problems. First of all, probably the most important is getting the hardware down to a good ergonomic position to work from. Um, as you see now, it's down at this height that we're working from as opposed to up above and in some cases way above our head. Secondly, by lowering the hardware down to the sill here, this part of your door is extremely clean. It has a much cleaner look on the trailer as far as your decal operations and things like that. But equally important too is less holes through your doors. Have you seen in uh, traders over the years that anytime we drill holes through there, you're subject to corrosion. So there's less holes, much cleaner design. Um, at the same time now, security is an important issue. We don't want to overlook that. When we had the hasp, and as we demonstrated before, how they break into the hasp, very thin piece of metal, the truss lock metal is all three-eighths of an inch thick. And so that where we put the padlock or the seal or whatever right through the 
heavy portion of the handle, it's very secure. It's not going to be, you can't just go in there with a vice grips and bend this with that kind of uh, meat to the section. Uh, with the seal in place, even if you try to slip the seal around, the hardware cannot be compromised in any of these positions because until the cam is all the way rotated around 180 degrees, will the handle become loose. Over here on what you don't see is important because the rubber uh, snubber that we had to have in the conventional now is gone. So the maintenance is gone too with that. And we'll see how uh, we don't need this and, and why uh, getting rid of it was an important feature. Now notice that as Jerry walks around to the side of the trailer, he's able to hang onto the handle all the way walking around the side of the trailer. On the conventional, the handle is actually up here and it's going to be between the sidewall and the door. So there's nothing to hang on to other than the door. But in this case, he can hang on to the handle and walk the door around to the side of the trailer. When he gets to the side of the trailer, he's just going to shove it into the side and rotate the handle around to complete the locking mechanism. Now, first of all, notice there's no rubber snubbers that he's trying to overcome as far as pressure is concerned. And all he's going to do is hold the door against the side of the trailer and rotate the handle. Okay, now let's look closely at the part of what makes the uh, truss lock plus work on the door hold back portion. As you saw Jerry rotate the handle around, the handle is actually a camming action that moves the handle forward to engage the hook deeper. The hook here, this is the heart of it as far as uh, when he shoves the door against the side of the trailer, then he rotates in rotating the handle, this hook goes through the hole and we're actually holding the door right here with this hook, but this just makes sure then that the handle cannot move. It also cams it in tightly to hold it tightly in against the side of the trailer. More importantly though is that this dimension away from the side of the trailer is that, as you can see here, within three inches of the side, whereas what we had on the conventional was way out here at over seven inches. That's an important design feature because the farther the door sticks out away from the side of the trailer, the chances of it getting knocked off just goes up exponentially. So this was one of the most important features that we were trying to do. Secondly, is make sure that it's a very positive, not a chain that can bounce around and come loose. Another important design aspect of the truss lock is keeping the whole design low profile. Um, if you notice the plane of the bumpers of the trailer, we wanted to keep the truss lock down below the plane of what those bumpers are uh, so that in case it backed against something it wouldn't be proud and could be damaged. Let me illustrate some of the important feature design aspects of what makes truss lock work. What you can't see in a regular hardware is how this thrust bearing on the cam for the truss lock versus the cam on conventional works. This has been a problem in the conventional hardware that the pipe is free to roll, uh, move up and down axially in the hardware. It's only this lip making contact with this metal rib gives it the bearing strength. On the other hand, the truss lock design, the first thing that was done was the end of this bearing plate was flanged to create a flange all the way around it to give you a much better axial bearing but equally important then was the double lobe on the camshaft that fits into that slot so that now it cannot be installed wrong to where this is always captured. It takes the air out of it, takes the human element out of it, but more importantly over the years wear it prevents the thrust bearing wear and keeps the doors tight. Very important feature of the Truss Lock Plus. So for more information on how Truss Lock Plus system can benefit your fleet contact your Wabash National Sales Representative or authorized dealer. Or visit our website at www.wabashnational.com.